Andy Mogul. You know, a few weeks ago, we asked you what your favorite interviews were on The Real Good Show. And for the next two weeks, we're bringing you exclusive footage that was left on the cutting room floor. This week, you've chosen Lloyd Kaufman. Enjoy. And, uh, you know, I'm the chairman of the Independent Film and Television Alliance. The reason I ran for chairman is to uh, fight industry consolidation and preserve net neutrality on the internet so, so that your show can indeed have a, a fair entry. Uh, independent art is clearly under assault. And it ain't just us. It's, to, it's all independent art. Not just movies, but, but uh, paintings and toothpaste and whatever. Tom's toothpaste is organic. Where, where do you, you know, it's not that easy to find. Toothpaste is getting really hip. A lot of people say you have to live in L.A. to pursue film. What's your take on L.A.? I think if you're a, um, an emerging filmmaker, you have to come to a crossroads. Uh, you either want to have the big house and the mansion and uh, millions of dollars and fancy cars and hookers and cocaine, uh, mm -hmm. or you want to be an auteur filmmaker and you, you're not in it for the money, you're in it for the satisfaction of, of doing what you believe in. The only problem is it's not a very good business model, Bobby. So right. there's no revenue. So, but you are you're uh, you have some hope. You have some talent. Uh, I do. You know, we're... On ninety nine dollar music videos, we challenge filmmakers to create original music videos for hot new bands on a budget of no more than ninety nine dollars. Every Tuesday and Thursday at ninety nine dollar music videos dot com. Uh, well, we started Troma because of uh, the auteur theory. I made the mistake of going to Yale University. Uh, I was going to try to change the world, make it a better place, teach people with hooks for arms how to finger paint. But then I got, I got roomed in a, in, a, in a tiny little room with a movie nut in my freshman year, and, uh, and I bought into this uh, auteur theory of filmmaking in which the filmmaker should have total control and be the author of his work, and uh, my life was ruined. Carl Coleman asks, how do you come up with your ideas? Uh, the best ideas come from the newspapers. Poultry Geist uh, comes from the stories about fast food. And Toxic Avenger came from uh, news newsletters about uh, toxic waste dumps ticking away like time bombs all over the world. Le Wombat Blue says, do you have a project that you really would like to do but can't do to the low budget? Being a gay married man, I've always liked uh, musicals. Course. I've wept through many of Barbra Streisand. Uh, a show and Judy Garland and all that stuff. So I, you know, I would like to do a, a, a good musical. A large part of our audience are young filmmakers. Do you have any advice for those guys starting out? Do what you believe in, uh, to their own self be true. A phrase coined by William Shakespeare, who wrote that best-selling book, 101 Money-Making Screenplay Ideas, otherwise known as Hamlet. Don't take acid in the 60s, either. <laughs> Well, that was Lloyd Kaufman, part two. Tune in next week for the final installment of our extended interview series with, well, you'll just have to tune in to see who you voted for. Keep it going. Well, that was Lloyd Kaufman, part two. Where are the videos at? Send them here. Submit them. I need your videos, guys. Also, follow us on Twitter if you want to know about the live show. And also, can you please friend us on Facebook? Go here. Come on. Work with me, guys. <laughs>